Hi, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. Hope everybody is doing great. Just adjusting the camera here. Uh, a couple things before we start. Uh, basically, if you're new to the channel, everything you need to know is in the description box. Uh, I will be doing your weekly. We are using the Celtic Cross Spread or I am using the Celtic cross spread. Please know it may not uh, may not resonate with everybody out there, so you can check your other placements, your sun, your moon, your rising, um, not your sun, or your Venus signs. All right, trying to talk too fast here, Gemini. So with that, let's just get down to your reading, Gemini. I'm gonna cut this deck. We're gonna see what the energies are here for you for the week. Got Capricorn, Pisces energy, Scorpio, Cancerian, okay, all right. The first thing that I'm picking up, Gemini, we do have uh, the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups, okay? I feel like there's something that you've been waiting for from someone. Um, I feel like this is causing you, um, I feel like whatever you're not getting in the situation is leaving you a bit confused, emotional, definitely seeing that here with the Moon, the Seven of Cups here, okay? Um, I do feel like some of you may be really thinking a lot about a situation because I see here on the Five of Cups, all right? We also have the Seven of Swords. So you may be feeling like somebody here may be not communicating, you know, hiding something uh, from you or something like that, okay? So I'm going to clarify. I'm just going to start clarifying here. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Five of Pentacles. All right. We got the Seven of Wands. And we also have here the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like you feel this. There may be a situation where you're feeling like somebody is not totally in uh, this connection, uh, we do have Justice Libra energy on the bottom of the deck. I feel like there's something lacking here in with someone um, that you're just not feeling like this person, maybe they're not doing the right thing or maybe they are treating you unfairly, okay? There's something blocking an offer is what I'm getting here, okay? We may go back to that. Let's see why the Seven of Cups is here. Tell me more about the Seven of Cups. Okay, we got the Ten of Swords. We have the Four of Cups. Okay, you may be feeling ignored or rejected by someone. Now I'm gonna say, take the roles how they resonate. Um, but I feel like something ended here. Okay, and I feel like you're still thinking about like that love opportunity, someone who couldn't offer you what you needed. What was What's interesting here is you do have King of Cups and you have the Queen of Cups up there. So this is someone I feel like you have a very strong emotional attachment to, but I feel like this is someone either you're feeling ignored or maybe you're questioning are things over between the two of us or there it is over and you're still thinking about this situation, okay? Let's see uh, why the devil is here. Tell me more about this devil. Tell me more about this devil. Could be a Capricorn you're dealing with. Okay, we got the Chariot, Cancerian energy. We have the Queen of Swords, your energy. Wow, and we have the Ace of Cups. There's the Ace of Cups here too, okay? Two of Pentacles, yeah. It's almost like I feel like because it's the Four of Cups and the Ace of Cups here, you know, I see you kind of weighing your options here about a situation. Is there potential for a relationship or what is my higher self trying to tell me? I feel like this is someone that you have a very strong spiritual connection with. You you, you did or you do now still see this person as a partner, but I feel like too, um, with the devil card here, I feel like this could be someone who is a temptation, someone you're having a hard time letting go of. 
And I feel like you are really, it's almost like you're trying to read between the lines. Well, maybe I should move forward. Maybe I should move towards something new um, is what I'm getting here. But I feel like you're having a hard time um, moving forward. We, I, I believe we saw justice. Maybe we didn't. But I, I feel like I feel justice energy. I feel like you're not feeling like things um, like this person was fair to you. Okay, and so this is making you question a lot. I feel like you know you're maybe going into your head. There's um, you know fears here, fear of getting hurt. But let's tell me more about this moon card. This is showing up in your past energy. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Tell me more about this moon energy. Okay, we have the tower. Okay, some sort of unforeseen situation I feel happened king a sword some sort of truth something that was hidden the empress oh wow some of you could have found out that there was another person involved here uh I'm just gonna say it could be somebody that they were married to but you do have star card here you got Aquarius we also have Libra here interesting because I was feeling justice energy which is Libra some of you may have found out some sort of truth in the past. Is what I'm getting. Let's keep going. Thank you, Spirit. All right. Page of Cups uh, came out here. Okay. I feel like what they're telling you here to have, um, have strength, emotional strength here, because there's there's interesting this could be new love or communication okay and it's and again i'm seeing the two of pentacles on the bottom of the deck let's see why this page of cups is here there's either communication or a new love coming in for you gemini tell me more about this page of cups ten of wands two of wands six of pentacles yeah there's a new energy coming into your world because the four cups here, there's other offers around you. You just may not see it. I feel like they're telling you to be emotionally strong here because there could already be someone around you who is flirting, but I feel like there are burdens here from the past with somebody and there's a choice. You've got the two of wands here. But I'm also going to say for some of you, if that doesn't resonate, I feel like, you know, this could be somebody returning. We do have judgment here. Somebody returning. Okay. Somebody, this could be an apology to release burdens of the past. Someone who's been thinking, thinking, um, planning here. Six of Pentacles. There's definitely an uh, energy of someone here reaching out to you, wanting to invest in this connection okay it could be a new connection some of you it's a new connection some of you i feel it's somebody that you already know it's whatever your wish is because the nine of cups is showing up here in the future energy tell me more about this nine of cups tell me more about this nine of cups so if you're trying to manifest new love there's a new love coming in for you and i feel like this could be someone already around you someone who's flirting with you but if you're trying to manifest someone you know from your past it could be that energy too i see communication look at that knight of wands i mean knight of swords and here's ace of wands opportunity and look there's your energy to a uh, uh, lovers and we have the Six of Cups, and we also have here the Knight of Cups, yeah. There's a romantic opportunity, Gemini, I feel, that's coming in for you. Um, this is the wish here in your near future energy, okay? So whatever you're trying to manifest, I feel, so this is someone who has desire for you that wants a, a new start or... Uh, sees the opportunity with you okay there's a strong connection here six of cups I do feel like this is someone you know whether it's someone around you right could even be a friend a friend of the past and some of you it's an, uh, a specific person here from the past because I do see three of wands it's showing me opportunity is coming towards you now this could be something that you have been waiting for but Let's tell me, uh, or sorry, tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Tell me more about this Knight of Pentacles. Okay, Three of Cups. 
Okay, so the advice here is to take it slow. You're gonna be connecting with this person. You do have the Six of Swords. It does show me here that if you take it slow with this person, that things will go kind of uh, more smoothly is what I'm getting here with the Six of Swords. Now, this also could be someone where um, energetically there has been some distance or this person lives at a distance. We got the Sun card here as well. This is my Twin Flame card here in this deck, but the Sun card, Leo energy. Um, I feel if you take it slow, there is potential here in this connection. Let's clarify this Three of Wands. Tell me more about this Three of Wands. Tell me more about this three of wands okay we got a king of wands and we have the high priestess yeah someone is listening um someone is coming towards you this person i see here someone's listening to their intuition i feel in making a decision and they're taking the action coming towards you with the wheel here showing me there's a new cycle a new beginning here Okay, now maybe it's your strength that has gotten you through here. Maybe you pulled back your energy. But um, for those of you that you feel this is a new person, this is someone, they're just trying to gain the courage here, right, to come towards you here with communication. The Knight of Swords is telling me this is someone that has the intent. I feel like there's a strong, um, strong will for this person to come towards you. Okay, we got the full card here. This can be in your hopes, a hope, hope for a new beginning on judgment. Let's clarify judgment. Tell me more about judgment. Tell me more about judgment. Okay. Oh boy, look at that. Ace of Pentacles and the world card. Yeah. The opportunity is coming. Uh Gemini, I feel, you know, now. Some of you, this is about you learning lessons of the past, and now you're able to move forward. There's a new beginning, a new cycle here, and a chance to build something long term. That may be why I'm seeing here that it's saying, take it slow and steady, take your time with this situation. Uh, we do have Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo energy here, okay? Because I feel what's happening, Gemini, it's showing you, you do have the Four of Pentacles and you have the Six of Swords, okay? You're moving towards something more stable and secure. I feel like, too, you're pulling back your energy. You're pulling back your energy. Um, I feel like in the past, maybe you've been very, uh, like, flexible. Maybe you've been very uh, generous and giving. But I feel like um, either the guidance here is to pull back your energy or you are, are already doing that, okay? So very interesting energy for you, uh, Gemini. Let's see what the love oracles have to say. What else can you share with Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know? Okay, interesting, yeah. So there's addiction, toxic attachment, drugs, okay? This can be obsession, right? We had that devil energy here, and that's what I feel here, right? That maybe you've dealt with this type of energy, but look, you have divine intervention. Something is intervening here in this connection. Um, in a past connection, I feel, some of you, there was an ending, is what I'm getting, because... There was something about the connection at the time. It just wasn't meant to happen. Okay, now you've got magnetic attraction. Oh my gosh. And you have reconciliation. Yeah, and divine timing and unfinished business. So what I'm getting, Gemini, some of you who you feel this is someone that um, is coming back from the past, okay, that attraction was never lost. There's an opportunity to, recon to reconcile. And after time, it's there's a chance for you and this person, a second chance, you know, to uh, see where things could go, okay? The level here of toxicity is going to be different for everybody, okay? So know that. 
you know, like, you know, level one to 10. Some of you, you know, if it's just someone who maybe was controlling, you know, that may be a level uh, three, right? But someone who is abusive or maybe there's alcohol and drugs involved, that could be more like an eight or nine, you know, depending. So you've got to look at that way too. Everybody's story will be different. Let's see what else. Okay, we got single here. And faded meeting. Okay. Well, someone's feeling alone, but it also can be maybe somebody who's single who wasn't in the past. It is faded for you and this person to come together, is what I'm seeing there. All right, let's pause some final messages here for you, Gemini. You will have to decide here what you want to do. Okay, so we have transformation, reach for the power and strength to make changes, enrich your life and become the person that you want to be. Okay, so, you know, I feel like there's definitely going to be some decisions here. Some of you are breaking free from a past situation, moving towards a new love opportunity, but others, I feel this is an opportunity uh, for a reconciliation. You will soar towards your destiny with greater clarity and strength. This is the eagle. Okay. Now, some of you may be breaking free from someone because you want a monogamous relationship. Eagles are monogamous. And you also have here the sun card. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. Okay. It's telling you that there is happiness ahead. There is a lot of potential. There is growth here. All right, but I feel like you're going to have to read between the lines here in your situation, Gemini, and you're going to have to decide because I feel like too, some of you, there could be more than one option, right? You, I feel like it's, again, whatever your wish is, but I do sense that there is possibly here someone new, that's the choice here, or moving towards new love, and then somebody here from the past who's going to come back around is going to want to, uh, you know, try and reconcile with you. So Gemini, I hope this reading helped you. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.